Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your Easy Achievers Game Podcast for the week of April 22nd, 2021. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across me digitally, of course. Alex, how are you? How are you doing? Uh, I am good. That's great. Now, <clears throat> Alex, hmm. I want to jump right into okay. this episode, but before we do that, I want to remember remind everyone... This is episode 78 of the Easy Shapers. Yes, We're getting up is. there. We're, We're getting up there. Almost getting at 100, close man. Well, to that 100, you know what I'm saying? Get, we're we're going to do something special for the for them kids. Yeah, and we're going to, I don't know, film outside. You're going to get crazy. Like, uh, like in you know, in school, when you, when you had the day where like, you know what? We're going to go teach outside today. And that was like such a special oh, thing. Dude, yeah, oh, those days, I right? love those days, yes. Oh, my God, yes. They're like, hey, we're. We're going to have class outside today. And we're like, yeah! Like, and we, you just go outside, sit there, learn I, some garbage I about remember, the trees. I remember one time my teacher t- would tell me that. It was like, all right, hey, pick your partners. We're going outside to do some fun activities for like for the rest of the class. And I'm yeah. like, <laughs> like, is that what she said? Is that what she said? We're going outside? Dude, it was so much fun. I always loved going outside because then I'd get so distracted. Yeah, yeah, because because you're never really going to learn too much outside. You're kind of just messing around. Yeah, yeah. most yeah. of the time. Most of the there's time, there's like there's like go. Oh, it's just a way. Yeah, just, <laughs> like, leave me alone and come back in like twenty minutes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Like I said, I want to I don't want to quickly get into something, but I have a question. What is your question, sir? This is one of the questions, not normal, but I wanted to ask because it kind of blew by me over the week. Um, it's been 10 years since Portal 2 came out. Have, did you know that? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 10 years since That's Portal 2 came still out. still a good game. I was 15 when that game came out, which doesn't sound right, but is, you know, right? Yeah. Like, I, yeah. I, well, if you yeah. ask me, like, how old I was, I'm like 12, maybe, but no, I was 15 years old. I remember playing that game, on, I don't think on release date, but it was definitely release week. And man, I was having such a good time. I feel like I played it release day. I don't know. Usually me and my dad would go over the weekend to get the game Mm -hmm. that came out. So most likely I hit release weekend. It was awesome. And I don't remember. We played the whole co-op together, right? It was you and me. Yes. Yeah. 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 Because I played the short fat one. I think you played the tall skinny one. Mm-hmm. I think it's Peabody. No, not Peabody. What's it? What yeah, Peabody. Is yeah, Peabody. Peabody? You're okay. nailing it, buddy. Peabody, okay. and I don't know what the other one is. I have to look it up now. Fat Rock. I don't know. Uh, but I that blew by me. I looked at it and went, I does that can't be real. And it was. Uh, yeah, Atlas and Peabody. Atlas and Peabody. That's right. Atlas. Peabody, he looks just like Peabody. Atlas, I guess he looks is he supposed to look like the rock Atlas pull? I don't know. I don't but know. anyways, we're not a poor old podcast. We can be not a bad idea for a podcast, but mm-hmm. we could be, I guess. You could be like a valve thing. What would you do? Hold on. No, <laughs> sidebar. Here, complete here sidebar. Here complete we go. sidebar. Here we go. Is there a valve podcast? Is there someone out there doing like a valve podcast right now? Because like, what do you talk about? Steam? Just all the time? They don't make games anymore, really, right? Uh, so, like, Gabe what are you Newell about? and Eric Johnson from Valve. And it's called Game Slice. So, so, I mean, it's two people from Valve. So, wait, G- Gabe's not doing a podcast, is he? It says Every Gabe, week? It says it was on SoundCloud. I think the last one, they, oh, no, maybe the, they, not anymore. But it says, okay. I think, because it just shows me the thing. It says 2015. So, let's oh, see. Oh, God, yeah, no. So, so, ladies and gentlemen, just so you know, 2015, that's about the time that man probably became a multimillionaire, even more than he already was. So, he's probably like, why am I doing this? I'm just going to go away for a while. <laughs> Well, it only is this only showing me one, like just one. Maybe they just did one. Maybe he did it and was like, "I'm never doing that again." Yeah, He's, he recently won an hour. award. He recently won an award from GDC. No, that hasn't happened yet. What was the award he won? I don't remember. He won an award recently, um, and I saw the man. He looks like Santa Claus because he has that big bushy white beard. Hmm. You could definitely pass it at San Claude at a mall where you like just leave your kids with for like 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my grandfather does that like in Christmas time. He mm-hmm. wears red and he actually holds like glow, you know, the little mini candy canes. Yeah. Yeah, he stick those in his pocket. Mm-hmm. And it's, um, you know, at restaurants, do you see the kids doing this? Santa, Santa. And then he just starts looking at him. He pulls out the candy cane. 
slowly tries to give it to him. And then the mm-hmm. parent is like, get the fuck away from my kid. Yeah, yeah. The parent's <laughs> like, I'm calling the police. <laughs> no, no. He's a rogue it's, Santa. No, it's funny because so, it's oh, sometimes sure the parent, anyway. sometimes the parents have to ask him if it's okay if they can come up. And he's like, no, it's fine. Mm-hmm. Because they get like, so excited. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. And, he, and I've seen this gentleman. He looks like Santa a lot. Mm-hmm. It's bizarre, but awesome at the same time mm-hmm. how much he looks like Santa. Mm-hmm. Kind of catches you off guard. You're like, whoa. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, okay, you're a real person. <laughs> Anyways, thank you anyway. so much for joining us and going through whatever the hell that just ha- was. <laughs> Thanks hey. for sticking around. <laughs> if you like that, don't worry. There's plenty of ways you can support us. Let's start with the paid way now we know we're in a pandemic so i don't feel like you have to but if you'd like to you can go over to patreon.com slash ggtvers give us a buck it gives you a bunch of tiers they give you a bunch of different things that you can do that could uh, dm us privately to get on the show or talk with us anything like that sorts then you just go there if you want to do anything financial but if you're a freeloader want to save some money we completely understand we've all been there and actually alex Mm -hmm. is a freeloader himself he doesn't pay for this show now, um, <laughs> you don't support us on Patreon. I don't either. You could go over to whatever you're listening to right now. You give us a like, comment, so maybe subscribe on whatever you listen to, whether it be a podcast service or YouTube. You head over there, give us a like, give us a comment, give us a subscription, and also give us a five star review if you're listening on the podcast. Even if you're not, and if you have some extra time in your day, it's a way to help us with those algorithms. You see, the algorithms, they like interaction. So mm-hmm, we mm-hmm. give They're us that picky. extra time. If you subscribe on YouTube, hit the bell. That's a big thing. I don't know what it does, but if you hit the bell, it'll notify you when we get a new mm-hmm. video out. Mm-hmm. That's so exactly you, what it does. Because back in the day, Alex, I don't know if you remember this. I was with YouTube. What I probably got into YouTube like 2013 to 2012, maybe mm-hmm. like I was er, early days. Mm-hmm. Back in those days, when you subscribe to someone, mm-hmm. you got their videos and that's it. Yeah. No, now, now you have to subscribe bell. and you have to bell. If you don't, they you just will have to like know their schedule to now. To and I think you can bell either for all their content or just certain ones. Yeah, you can actually. I mm-hmm. noticed that because I I've tried it out to so I could be knowledgeable with with the podcast. I hit the bell. It gives you like every time they upload posts by them to there's yeah. a bunch of other ways i'm gonna leave that to you chief i don't want to dictate what just, you want just to hit, see, just so hit the bell just hit the bell hit the bell that's all i ask and then and then go eat a dorito you like just live one? live, live just, your life just just one yes i said a dorito so one dorito so one dorito you'll get the rest later <laughs> you have to listen to the podcast now enough of that mm-hmm I want to get into the meat. Now, Alex, I usually mm-hmm. ask you a question. I ask you, what have you been playing? But not this week. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Wow. Mostly because I know what you've been playing, and it's not very exciting. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, please. Wow. If I'm so- maybe an incorrect. Is that is that not correct? You've been playing something I don't know about. What, okay. What do you think I've been playing? Uh, I say, oh, he's challenging me. <laughs> I w- if you ask me, hey, what have I been playing the last few since the last recording? I would say maybe some League, mm-hmm. maybe some some maybe some Apex for sure. Mm-hmm. Maybe a little bit of Star Wars, but like really a little bit because you're just getting mm-hmm. a lot of rewards. Mm-hmm. Aside from that, Alex, that? I'd say that's about it. Yeah, you're right. That's it. Oh, okay. All right. I, was like, I was like, oh, he's about to flip something on me. I I, I was hoping you'd be oh, like, no, oh, no, actually, actually, oh. I. Titanfall 2. You really started playing that? Yeah, I played the online. And remember, I told you it was all really crazy. That's and I was and I was right. about to start the campaign. And I just didn't know if I wanted to. Because I can't remember. Is the campaign co-op? Or single player? Okay. I, I couldn't remember. And I was like, I'll hold off in case EVM mm-hmm. must play. And I forgot about it. Yeah, I love Titanfall 2. The reason we've been playing this, by the way, is because we remembered it was good. Mm-hmm. It, honestly, that's literally the reason. Remember, that's a good game we should play because mm-hmm. we love Apex so much. Yeah. Um, I didn't actually put it in the news, but we kind of got there granularly, so I do want to bring it up. Apex did release a legacy trailer. Don't we don't really know what it means? It was a really cool CGI trailer. Um, just go to YouTube. Literally, Apex Legends Legacy should be the first thing that comes up. Very interesting. It didn't really tell me much. Now. I, I know a little bit about the lore. I don't know a crazy You're not bit. About the thing with Valkyrie, are you? So there's been two things. There's the Valkyrie kind of mini story we got. Yeah. 
And then there was Apex Legends Legacy that came out yesterday. Oh, or no, I haven't today. seen it. I really? Haven't seen it yeah. Oh, okay. Well, essentially, it's um, you know how every season they kind of have like a CGI thing where they show off like the weapon yeah. and like mm-hmm. it's kind of like that, but like nothing really is new until the end where they show Valkyrie with a bow because the next new mm-hmm. weapon is a bow and Valkyrie's oh, new interesting. character. That's yeah. cool. And and at the end it announces Apex Legends Legacy, mm-hmm. and then it says Arenas, and then it says Go Beyond uh, Battle Royale. Interesting. So people are assuming Arenas is more of like a capture the flag, team deathmatch, these types of games, rather than going just Battle Royale for Apex. They're going to start incorporating maybe like a king of the hill type mode or something it says arenas so we kind of just mm-hmm. have to guess what was i mean i guess they, we'll see they also announced that there's a new mobile version of apex legends coming and it will have its own unique uh like i guess cosmetics basically so like Weird. it won't be linked to anything else yeah. Apex Legends does, which is strange. Don't know why that's a thing. Apparently, they did have a performance uh, upgrade to the Switch. To apparently, it's supposed to be running a little bit better and look better. So I haven't tried that, but I'm I have to give it a sh- have to check it out because apparently only it's a matter of time better. until they incorporate some sort of cloud feature for the Switch to make. I it look would better. assume. I would because assume it's so. going to be kind of frankly embarrassing if like you get a really nice phone. And mm-hmm. like your Apex Legends looks better on your phone than on your Switch in your hand. Dude, dude, that's, that's gonna be a little embarrassing if that actually happens. Mm-hmm. But hopefully, knock on wood. God, my new desk is made of wood now. Hey, hey, um, there you go. Hopefully that doesn't happen. I guess. Uh, I, I guess I don't really care if it looks better. But that that was announced. That was really it. I don't know. They they said they oh. Uh, they said that gameplay is coming soon. They didn't really mention. They mentioned a time. I'm blanking on it right now. I want to say it was next week, the 26th. Okay. Ooh, I, I might be wrong. That's okay. off the top of my head. I should have wrote that down in the news. Actually, I just didn't think about it. Uh, but thank you for reminding me, Alex. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we have a we have a meaty beginning of the show. Okay, as I said, describe now, meaty. <laughs> now, if you remember, now if you remember, we've incorporated kind of a quick fire beginning to the show because we want to get to the quick news that not necessarily we want to give a full coverage to during the whole show but we want to bring up very quickly to kind of let you know that this happened me and alex don't really have too much to say on it so we're just going to kind of it happened there you go first things first star wars knights of the old republic remake reportedly is coming from port studio aspire now astute achievers out there will go didn't you already cover this we did we covered this like three four months ago for whatever reason uh i guess people didn't know that ha- was happening ign re-reported on it after um a gentleman i follow on youtube and twitter mr maddie plays already covered it and talked about it they re-covered it and talked about it which was I don't know what happened there. I, I have no idea, but I did want to remind everyone because it hit the news again this week that it is happening, but we already talked about this in like late February. So mm-hmm. we, I don't have too much. Alex, do you, do you want to speak on anything about that star Wars game? I mean, I'm, I'm interested to check it out. Cause honestly, it's been so long that I don't remember the first game. I don't um, I don't think I ever touched the first game. The second game I turned on for five seconds on my Xbox One just to mm-hmm. see. I didn't really get into it. Yeah. So uh, I'm excited to see what they do with it. And maybe who knows? I probably will get into it. I mean, if they do do it, some more achievements. That'll be fun. Of course, yeah. Um, I will say Port Studio Aspire has um been porting a lot of the older Star Wars games. And they're not really putting a lot of love into them. Mm-hmm. And, and you know that's their deal i'm not saying it's their fault or anything that, yeah. that's the that's the deal they signed so i i would wish for something a, a little more than probably what we're gonna get which is just a, a hey it's in you know 1080p or whatever <laughs> now 4k whatever you want to call it 
So I wish there was a little more happening, but hey, maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised that it'll look a little better because those games are like, especially compared to now, like getting getting up there like They're especially dating. visually and their faces the faces is what really gets you off that's that, that that's what happened to me with morrowind when they added it to game pass mm-hmm. uh and i was like oh i get i never played it before i'm excited to play it everything looks really clear and everything mm-hmm. like 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 every, all the lines are nice yeah. but you can tell that the graphics are dated yeah yeah and that is coming from um I guess you could say spoiled, right? We're spoiled with all these good games and these incredible mm. graphics now. Oh, yeah. But it is hard to attach yourself to characters when they look like blobby messes. I always bring up Final Fantasy VII. I keep trying to play that game. I'm sure everyone's fanning themselves like, I oh, can't. Lord, I can't believe he doesn't like Final Fantasy VII. No, I love the no. gameplay, but I, it's hard for me to get attached to characters that look like a bunch of triangles taped together. Like someone just got taped. I, I literally, the first time I tried playing that game, I was like, why do I look like a character off that old show, Roly Poly Oli? Look, you just made someone's day with that reference. It wasn't me, but so, someone's out there like, oh, Alex gets me. <laughs> yeah, it's literally, yeah, this it, it, they were pretty much around like characters like they like their body was round their head is just like a circle they're just circle circle and they're like little robots and it's just it's weird it was a it was a fun show when i was little but now i'm looking at it i'm like Ooh, okay fps boost comes to ea play mm-hmm. titles on xbox game pass ultimate up to 120 hertz on select titles now i'm gonna quickly name a couple for you okay one Battlefield 4, this is all supporting 120 hertz. As long as you have a compatible TV and you have your right settings enabled, you will get 120 frames per second on these games as I mentioned them. So, Battlefield 4, Titanfall 1, Star Wars Battlefront 1, Plants and, uh, sorry, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, Battlefield 1, which is, of course, Battlefield World War 1, Titanfall 2, Star Wars Battlefront 2, Plants vs. Gar- uh, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Sorry about that. Battlefield 5, Mirrors as Catalyst, Unraveled 2, Plants vs. Zombies. That's the new one. I don't remember what it's called. Battle for the Neighborhood. Yeah, neighborhood. yeah the Neighborhood one. So, yeah, Neighborhood War, something like that. And then that is all the 120 hertz. Sea of Solitude is getting an upgrade to 60 frames per second. Okay. Uh, Yeah random but there you Mm -hmm. go really quickly i do want to mention incredibly impressive again by xbox i don't know what magic they're doing um to do this without developer support but maybe they did because they're working so closely with ea but apparently you can just turn on fps boost on some games and it just increases the frame rate which is awesome it's it's, it's, yeah it's awesome it's incredible i cannot wait for this to be enabled in more games i already am very excited that means i can play titanfall 2 Mm. in 120 frames and that is very exciting to me it's crazy very exciting things are doing that now like xbox is doing their fpf boost and then for pc nvidia is doing something called dlss which is kind of like it's pretty much like an fps boost and Mm. it's it's just like it's only like a certain supported games do it but you would you just go to settings click enabled and it does the exact same thing i'm like i like that there a lot of companies are doing this right yeah yeah that's cool um so this is a rumor, but it's it's real. But it, I always like to preface everything that I say that I know is a rumor to be a rumor. So you don't necessarily have to believe me, but trust me, this is real. Um, so this is the, uh, the scuttlebutt on the new Battlefield game. Now, they keep hinting at this game like it's, it exists and it's coming soon. Uh, it's still set to release this holiday. This was confirmed over um, the week with a couple, I want to say, either an insider or actual dev said some of this stuff. I I don't remember, but it will assumably be at EA's uh, play event around E3. That was not mentioned, but you can assume because we do know it will be revealed soon. So at some point soon, it will be revealed. And I think it's for for sure in June. Around oh, yeah. the E3, it will be revealed. Yeah, it is built around using new tech for next gen, uh, right now, current gen, of course, and then it's going to use hopefully some no- sort of new mechanic or kind of use what I am hoping for is a return to the like 
remember in Battlefield 4, Alex, and mm-hmm. Bad Company 2, where they really like were like, you could destroy the walls. Oh, and, yeah, like, like fight. Yeah. Like that's what I'm hoping we're getting back mm-hmm. to, which I'm sure Battlefield 1 or whatever can and 5, whatever, can do that. Yeah, they can, but like it's but not it, as but it's not like, as fun as it used to be, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I, I love, used to play three and four so much. So I used to play when I played Bad Company two. Mm-hmm. I loved the like periods of a map. The map, right? Mm-hmm. Beginning, everything's fine. Middle, you're starting to see holes everywhere. More holes at the end. Of, by the end of the match, every building is only being held up by four beams four <laughs> and beams, everything. Yeah. And, and you so, start grenading the walls with tanks yep. and stuff. Mm-hmm. My favorite part. Alex, and I know you did this. I know the achievers listening did this too. Grenade launcher on the gun. Shoot the grenade launcher at the wall. Take a grenade out. Bam! Throw a grenade in there. Oh yeah. Clears out the room. You run in. You you see if there's anyone left. Mm-hmm. It's mo- the most exhilarating thing you'll do that weekend. I mm-hmm. guarantee you. It's amazing. Cannot wait for this new game. Hopefully it doesn't suck. Uh, I did not love the last two. Um, yeah. Didn't didn't love Battlefield One. Didn't love Battlefield Five. We just kind of pretend like Hardline didn't happen. So don't just don't even don't bring it up. Uh, they also mentioned that a new Battlefield game is coming to mobile sometime in 2022. Like Call of Duty Mobile, I assume. There, yep. And exactly what you just said, Alex, is one of the things that upsets me with Battlefield. <laughs> and I am in no way saying they shouldn't do a mobile game. That's not my point here. I think this exemplifies my issue with battlefield though why are they why are they so late to things and why do they seem so reactionary on what call of duty does we saw that with battlefield one where they tried to do like world war two again mm-hmm. and then they did battlefield five which was like another like world war two thing mm-hmm. which of course you know Battlefield one was world war one but you understand they're, yeah. they're trying to do the trend yeah 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 i just i hope that this next battlefield does not seem like a reaction to, to like modern warfare, warfare or yeah. cold war, whatever you want to call it. Mm. I, I think battlefields at its best when they know what they're doing. Battlefield. When I think of battlefield, Alex, and I know you're right here with me because we used to play it together. Mm-hmm. I think of starting that match. I think of looking to my left, my right. Do I want to take that Humvee? Do I want to take this tank? There's a helicopter that way. I know I can take, or if I want to, I can run that way. I know there's jets over there. I can get in a jet, Alex, and fly around and shoot at the ground and stuff. That is Battlefield. That is what I hope we're going back to. Mm-hmm. Do you have any fond memories? Really quick Do, while I... Um, it's funny because my my memories of Battlefield that I, for some reason I always had fun with was uh, Battlefield 1945. Mm. And uh, it was because I just loved the way that one was. Because like how you said, like I you can see you're like, oh, you start, you either start on the on the ship on the airbase thing, and it's like, okay, there's a bunch of airplanes here I can take, or you can spawn it by the beach to where there's like you know the Humvees, or you, you can have like there's these buildings in front of you that you can get some other stuff for, and then you gotta capture certain things. Like the way they had that game set up, it was just so fun that I wanted to keep playing, and it was and it was only online. That game was only there was no campaign. So, I but it that. made it work. Mm-hmm. Like it, it was so fun. And I'm hoping EA, maybe it's Dice. I don't know who who it is, but I'm hoping whoever kind of like does this. Like, ju- what did Call of Duty do? All right, do do that. Like, I, I like- hope I hope it's mm-hmm. I hope it's like a. Hey, what do you want to do? All right, let's let's talk let's talk this through. Do you want more of a Battlefield Four? Do you want Bad Company Three? Which is what uh, Alex, if they come out and say Bad Company Three. I'm gonna fucking lose it, Alex. It's not happening, but it's not gonna I happen, wish. But, I but wish. the rumor was Bad Company Three was supposed to be. There was five. a rumor. It was yeah. I was about to say there was a rumor that Bad Company Three was supposed to come out ten years ago. Okay. <laughs> There's like a every few years it comes back and like Bad Company Three might be this year. Oh, and yeah. It's no. always garbage. So I wanted to start the full on news. So this is the news report, right? Hmm. With a both, I, I like to call it an icy hot, Alex. Okay. A little bit of what you want, a little bit of what you don't want, though. PlayStation Store on PS3 and PS Vita will continue operations. Now, if you remember last week, we did comment on the PlayStation Store being closed on both Vita PS3, lives. Vita, and PSP. 
Uh, this had a whole uproar over the weekend in a couple days. And it looks like there was so much of an issue that they walked back on it. So mm-hmm. I will just read a quick um, excerpt from this. So they they said, recently we notified players, this is via the PlayStation bug, recently we notified players that PlayStation Store, PS3, and PS Vita was planned to end this summer. Upon further reflection, however, it's clear that we made the wrong decision here. So today I'm happy to say that we'll be keeping the PlayStation Store operational for PS3 and Vita games. PSP co- commerce functionality will retire July 2nd as planned. I mean, I'm surprised it was still going. We all were, Alex. We all were. There, no one thought, no one thought that they could take out their PSP and buy a game. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. Alex, I have, of course, happy for everyone that actually wanted this to stay. To stay, I do feel like a lot of people got upset about um, the PS3 and PS Vita who weren't actually buying the games, but I do. Yeah, yeah, I did. I, I did too. I, I'm right there with you. Mm-hmm. But the, I think the majority of people who were upset. Mm-hmm that they were closing these stores wasn't the fact that the store was closing the fact that we had no alternative yeah to play the video games mm-hmm. no i don't think many people are really that happy that this is stopped like and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments please tweet at us you know all this stuff yeah. our, our twitter is over oh sorry it's inverted this yep. one <laughs> but it I, I, Alex, help me here. It, it, uh, is it? Do you think? I mean, in, to me, I'm just as angry as I was before, and again, angry in small caps. I'm not. No, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. As, I'm not staying like waking up in a cold sweat, like ah, ah, the store is closing. But I find myself not really satisfied at all. I I wanted alternative to this, and don't come in here and say PS now. I will fucking find you now. PS9 Alex, please, horrible. please help, please help me here. Please help me here. Does are you happy? Am, am I I'm, wrong here? Please tell me. I'm happy for the like, like we said, like I was mad because I was upset for the people who are still buying games, which I'm sure there are because I I know I'm not, but I do love the Vita. Yeah. But I was upset for the people who were are are still supporting it. So once they said they were bringing it back or leaving it. I was like, okay, you know, that's that's good for them, and because to be fair, the the developers, the most some of those developers or most or all of them weren't told. They were like, uh, okay. I, I know for a fact, um, and all the achievers know. I listen to a, a podcast called Sacred Symbols. They make games, yeah, um, for the Vita. Um, they apparently bought a dev kit in February, mm-hmm. and now the the you're telling me the store is closing. Yeah, it's they like, bought I, a I dev kit to make video games on it. Yeah, so like, like, I want to make content for this. And again, another issue of mine was they didn't give us proper heads up. When you close mm-hmm. a store down, a year, six months, yeah, like, yeah, something. Like give it, yeah, like give it, like it's okay. Hey, this, like, oh god, what what did it? Um, there was something that was shutting down, and they were like, okay, this is ne- oh, by, next year. Yeah, by this time next year, it's gonna wasn't be gone. it PlayStation on something. It was the PS4 games on, or not PS4 games. Uh, PS3. It was a PS3 games on the play part as a PlayStation Plus or VR game or, or no Vita games. I'm sorry. When you get Vita games as part of your PS Plus subscription, they stopped that. Yeah, they give you a heads up. Yeah, they that, give you. They will stop giving you PS4 were, games or, or something like that. Yeah, Vita It was, Vita a, game. It was PS3 yeah. and PS3, yeah. I believe, or VR, one of them. Yeah, they were essentially, I remember exactly what you're talking about now. Yeah, yeah. they essentially said, hey, you're, we're not going to give you extra games on this platform anymore. Yeah, and then they this stopped it, but they gave next it a timeline. Year, yeah. This time next year. They didn't tell us that at the same amount of time to yeah. close a whole store. So, like, yep. You can tell there's just different PR and happening. It, well, which it's is crazy strange to me. because they were like, "Okay, we're gonna shut down PSP, PS3, Vita, PSP." I'm I'm fine because I was like, "It's it's been a while." I would PS3, say right now, some they people probably... still only have a PS3. So I I was kind of I was like, "Oh well, you know, I know people that still have a PS3. I do. Vita, too. I know people don't play as much, but it's the newest system from those three. And I'm like, why not support it for a couple more years?" Like, um, what's hurting? They never supported it in the first place. So. I mean, I guess. 
I just don't see why it's why. I mean, what, what's it hurting? Like, is it cost? I mean, I'm assuming they, it costs them to keep it up. I mean, there's a lot. Yeah, because uh, and I've heard a little bit about this. It, you know, they have to pay the servers or whatever to keep it up. Mm-hmm. They have to cut checks for people who who like sell a game, f- and they cut a check for like two dollars because their cut is like two mm-hmm. bucks on a oh, store. Ooh. There's just a lot of there's just I mean, a lot of logistical I mean, annoyances. I mean, for a company who's a, making their games just to make money, I mean, I love I love I love I love when you're fiery, Alex. I love it, but like I'm sure there's a lot of logistical things where it's like we could take this money, shave it off, mm-hmm. put it to put it to PS4, put it to PS5. Let's make some VR stuff, things like that. Jim Ryan, we know for a fact, first off, doesn't play video games. Second off, doesn't care about old stuff. Regardless of this, if if this was his decision or not, he's the head honcho guy. So we're all gonna blame him. I mean, who? What, am I supposed to go to Herman Holst? I, so like, if you look Mike at Cerny. him, you know that makes <laughs> call Mark Cerny be like, "Hey, why is the store closing down?" He's like, "Bro, I'm making PS Six. Stop calling me." Um, but that you know, I I I say I'm happy for everyone. Per- me personally, nothing has changed for me. Yeah. Amazon Game Studio, someone we haven't talked to about in a while here on the AC Chavers podcast, has canceled a Lord of the Rings online role-playing game. This was reported on by Bloomberg. The company announced this project with Leo-owned Athlon Games back in 2019, I believe we covered this, and planned it to be a free-to-play game for PC and consoles. According to a uh, press release, it was set to be, quote, a time long before the events of The Lord of the Rings exploring lands, people, and creatures never seen before by fans of the Tolkien universe, end quote. According to an announcement from Athlon Games, of course, at the time. But the Leo um, uh, publisher head that was organizing these studios uh, was sold by, or sorry, was acquired by Tencent Holdings, which, of course, Tencent is we cover almost all of the time. They are constantly buying everything. They are mm-hmm. definitely funded by some shady Chinese things. Mm-hmm. You can read about it more if you'd like. I won't bore you with the details here. But uh, they bought them in December. And reportedly, they tried to renegotiate some sort of contracts between Amazon and Tencent since they've been newly acquired. And apparently, they fell apart. So now there is a canceled Lord of the Rings game that we will never see. Both sad, but unfortunately, is a... Thing that happens all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Is any any anything on that one? Um, I don't have much. I mean, to I'm say. I'm a little disappointed because I wanted to try it because I have tried the original MMO RPG that's on Steam, yeah. and it's not bad. It's I mean, it's still supported. And there's still updates coming out for it and stuff. Um, but I feel like this one, like I, I don't. I feel like they should have. Or. Hmm, I feel like I want I, it, maybe it could have done better when the Amazon show was coming mm-hmm. out. Maybe this maybe, is maybe, maybe that was time for this. Do we know I, when the show was coming out? Um, mm. It's an MLRPG. This could have taken five, six yeah. years to be fair. No, yeah, so, I think they. I don't I think know it was if you can plan for that, that time. I think maybe. it was just so for people where they watch the show, they'd be like, "Oh, there's this RPG, you know, MMORPG that you can play if you're still wanting, you know, some of that Lord of the Rings feel." Now, they tried to do the contract negotiations with game studios and and all that. This fell through. Now, they have an option. Amazon can go and find a new studio for this Mm -hmm. um, because this gets in um, kind of a gray area, and I'm no legal expert. So literally anything could be possible. They could have to re-go get the IP for this or get the token uh, state to sign off again. Who knows? I have no idea what Mm -hmm. what they have to do here. But in theory, in the land i've created in my head here they could go shop around to some devs um amazon game studios is not known for being uh profitable or getting anything off the ground they had that game come out um what game the to- the tour game what was it called alex can you google it for me please i'm sorry i sh- i should have written this down i love i love telling the achievers so a little bit what of the history it? of the tour studios. like 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 grand tour when- wasn't it a grand tour? They released the game and it was so bad that they unreleased it. Which is like, th- it like that doesn't even sound real. They they released the game. I'm uh, sure. Oh, the oh, it says the grand tour game. Yeah, grand tour. 
Yeah, it's an episodic. They... It's an episodic racing game that was supposed to be from uh, Heavy Iron Studios and Amazon Game Studios. Yeah, yeah. For PS4 Apparently, and Xbox One, it was so bad they unreleased the game, so they took the game back. I mean, which... oof, it looks like it's something off. It was based off of you know the you know the show uh, Top Gun. It looks like it was supposed sure to be do. that. Alex, look at me. Do, don't I look like um, like you know the, on the Price Is Right? When he had that really tiny microphone and mm-hmm. he like held it like this. Oh yeah, he's yeah. Yeah. Come on down. Da, 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 da. I don't remember the theme song, but I love the the Yolda one. Yolda. Mm-hmm. That one was really good. Guess that price. I don't remember the actual thing, but when you had to guess the price of like the grocery store item. Mm, yep, 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 yep. They're like, well, how much does a blender cost? And I'm like, thirty dollars. I don't know. And it was always like sixty bucks or something. Mm-hmm. That was fun. Um, did you see? Because this is a racing game, I figured I should mention it. Did you see the test drive unlimited teased their next game? No, I did not. Yeah, test drive unlimited. I forgot. It was. It's called test drive unlimited something. Because test drive unlimited, it's like I guess is the series name. Who's the, the last devs one? behind test drive unlimited? Do you know? Let me see. Test drive unlimited. Let's see. Let's give them some credit. Yeah, test drive unlimited was by. If it tells me. Ooh, okay. Published by Atari. And that's still a thing, or did they sell the rights? Let me see. It says it was from Eden something. I can't see that. Let me see. Because this is those that's this test drive two. I'm trying to see if it'll tell me. It won't tell me. It's perfectly fine. I'll just take your time. The achievers are staring at my very blank wall back there again. Sorry, we're still in the process of moving. I put some primer on there. Now, when I say I, I mean, I mean, leave my beautiful fiance did all this. She primed all these walls. I'm going to, we're going to paint it most likely tomorrow. So, so test uh, drive on the mid developers was Eden games and Atari. And then there's a, a Chrome studios, Mel- uh, Melbourne. That's what the, okay. the people who made the first one and then Eden prime and Atari made the second one. But the new one is called solar, Solar Crown, I think that's what it said. Yeah, Solar, Solar Crown, I, I see yeah. it right here. I played a limited two, and it, I mean it was fun. So I'm interested. Looks like to it's see. coming out September second, or is that WRC ten? That was probably WRC ten because uh, they haven't said anything about. They only teased it. They only, they haven't even showed gameplay for Solar Crown. It was just revealed um, at a Nacon Connect Online show. And it got says that the secret picks yeah. up the so same the, universe this, this as is the for WRC 10. Yeah, see, right here. First game uh, s- since Nikon purchased the IP from Atari. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Nikon purchased the IP from Atari um, to make these games. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, no, I mean, and I, like I said, I played them before. They they were fun. I mean, I'm, I'm glad to find we'll have something other than... We'll see if Grand Nikon Turismo messes and Forza. it up. So yeah, we'll see. Alex, hmm. going back to Sony here. Okay. Or sorry, okay. picking it back up at Sony because okay. we love talking about Sony here on the Xbox podcast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sony accidentally published an announcement over the week announcing a strange PlayStation Plus video pass, and it was only on its Polish website. A couple of days later, they re- revealed that uh, this is a test only for Polish members of PlayStation um, Plus, and they will give access um, uh, to the PlayStation Plus members 20 plus movies and shows on their PlayStation. And again, this is only active in Poland. Interesting. Now, Alex, my question here is, first off, do you think this would be a separate thing? I assume you would not get this with Plus. Oh, God, no. And also, second, secondary, would this? Would you want this? Would you like this? I, I kind of like the idea so of having now, this kind of plus feature. So it would it would have to be pretty cheap, though. I think. So it says this video it. pass, and what did you say it consisted of? As pre-selected movies and TV shows on it. Okay, but so there's you, but there is no games. Correct. It is a video pass. So videos, as in like movies and TV shows. Uh, it depends on what that's on there. I mean, I have all the other subscription services for like mm-hmm. Netflix and stuff. I'm mm-hmm. not going to care for it, to be honest. I probably wouldn't either. It would have to either be included or be so cheap. I'd be like, well, I'm sure. But, but, but I, I don't see myself caring. Now, Alex, what I want to bring up here is. Is it supposed to be the thing that goes against Game Pass? 
I don't think so. Um, Alex is speaking on um, uh, Jim Ryan kind of mentioned that they're working on a competitor for Game Pass. A, a ca- no, a like counterpunch. A- <laughs> yeah, now, okay. that could literally mean anything. Yeah, a no idea what that means. That could make that could mean places. I mean, he could have just said that. <laughs> it's a counterpunch so, in PlayStation now. Okay, I like to think of, like a Hadouken. That's what I think of. But no, I don't, so yeah, I don't think this is a counter to Game Pass. I think um, I think this is just a test. I think this is I think this is just a test. I think they're seeing if they can make more money with Sony uh, branded things. Like, mm. hey, can we incentivize people that maybe don't play video games that much mm-hmm. to spend money on our platform with a video pass that they would pay for and get access to now alex mm-hmm. 20 i'm gonna i want you to come back with me grab my hand and and i'm gonna take you back to the past okay mm-hmm. 2012 xbox one announcement event okay. you remember it well it gives us ptsd every time we hear the name don matrick and what what was memed on the most at that conference? Do you remember? It was a very specific clip that was played out of snippets of that. I won't I won't ha- keep you here long. The joke was TV TV Madden TV Call of Duty TV TV TV. Just saying, Jim Ryan seems to be pulling PlayStation in a similar route. To that Don Matrick once tried to pull us. Mm-hmm. And he very quickly got pulled out <laughs> as soon as people did not like his ideas. Yeah. Uh, which, of course, no, it's not always, not all his, but you have to blame somebody. I just want to give that little nugget. I, I think we can very quickly, PlayStation can very quickly not be the number one. Very quickly. Um, since we're still on the PlayStation thing, okay. I actually uh, found this thing, and I don't know if you care. Okay. Days Gone Two actually has a petition to, and it's near. So far, it's it's been blown up, and it's at seventy thousand signatures so far. Since the I, whole... I saw you tweet about this, so this is so this is a bunch of people very upset that they're not getting Days Gone Two. <laughs> yes, yeah. So they're like, yeah, a lot of people are are very upset about this. Uh, um, this thing like the the pitch was like, you know they're not going to do Days Gone Two things like that. So a lot of people are actually pretty upset. And they made a petition, and in the last week, uh, maybe less, I don't know, uh, they have so far, I mean, I don't know if that's a lot, but so far they, they've hit 70,000 uh, signatures to for it, them to release. I don't know if that means to, I, I don't know if it's to release that idea or just to release two in general. I think they just wanted days on two. Now, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like 70,000 isn't a little bit of money. Um, mm-hmm. You of course want to sell more than seventy thousand units. So to PlayStation, that's probably like yawning, like oh, mm-hmm. come back when you have more. Um, but I would hate to. Um, I don't know. I I w- w- the weird thing about petitions is Sony probably doesn't care. Probably not, but I mean, it's... But it is cool. It's cool, and I like that, you know, everybody is, like, you know, are coming together to support something that wouldn't mm-hmm, that's be... True. I I honestly, I, I signed it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, hey, if you guys want to go, go sign it. Maybe, hey, maybe this does get... I mean, hey, crazier things happen. Maybe this mm-hmm. does get you a Days Gone too. I don't know. I am not the guy to ask that. Maybe this maybe this will be like, all right, let's give them Days Gone too because they keep... Look, hey, Ben's not doing anything else. They're porting things. The what? Um, also, I did um, want to apologize to you, Chiefs. I did forget to cover a specific part of the story last week um, with PlayStation and the whole hubbub with Mumbar and his team. So they originally were making Uncharted One. I did forget to bring that up. So they were inc- inc- uh, creatively originally going to uh, port Uncharted One, make a remake, make it all pretty. Instead, they went to the Last of Us route because it was cheaper. To make because they knew that the budget was going to be an issue and all these things. I just wanted to quickly throw that out there just in case. I didn't want you to hear something other like they didn't report on that. Mm-hmm. I did forget to bring it up. I apologize. There you go. Now, I've already talked about how upset I was about the Ben situation, so I don't want to rehash the rant. Only to say enough, is 
I'm very upset that Ben was treated this way. Mm-hmm. And I hope someone, I'm looking at you, Herman Holst, thinks about their talent and how this maybe makes oh, everyone sure. at Ben feel. And maybe some other people are looking at Ben and are hoping that doesn't happen to them too. And it's just a whole draining of morale there. Maybe mm-hmm. look at look inside of Ben. Make sure they're they're happy there. Now, could be could there be a thing in another studio can be like, hey, we'll team up with you with Ben to make dreams come true. Like, it was that a possibility? Has that ever happened before? Like, other studios will come and pitch into other studios to... No, I apologize here. You mean dreams as in Days Gone 2 or dreams the game? No, no, not dreams. Dreams as in uh, the idea. Dreams. uh, uh, Most uh, like I'm talking about Days Gone 2, yes. But I mean, like, even, let's say, not just Days Gone 2, just in general. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they get they get uh, in, interior studios to help with development all the time. There's mm-hmm. even a thing called ghost developers, which I don't mm-hmm. know if PlayStation needs them, but they you, there are developers out there that we, you and me, Alex, have never heard of mm-hmm. because the point of them is to help with develop games and not have mm-hmm. their name on it to make yeah. it seem like that studio did it by themselves. Now, internally, if maybe let's say Last of Us Part Two that we did read last week mm-hmm. was having issues near the end there. Um, I want to say Ben jumped in and helped them out near the end and we're helping hit deadlines and things like that. So, I mean, that's definitely not out of the possibility. Now, will they, will they join together for one game? I don't think so. Mm. That probably t- uses too many resources. Yeah. And that does take away like how much money that would have to make to make back all those resources. So I doubt that would happen, but supporting a little different than like co-oping. So now, definitely a support I could see. Now hear me out. Cause I know I'm, I'm hey, I'm letting it drag on a little long, but it's okay. Achievers, it's I'm, sorry. Sure, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure some achievers, achievers are like fine. this. Time, they have time goes. They could have skipped this if they want to. <laughs> is Days Gone is Days Gone a solo Sony IP? Like, do they own the IP for this? Um, yes, because they own Ben. There's so like they wouldn't hmm. let Ben own that. So Sony okay. owns the okay. IP today. I was just wondering. You know, they could have gone to another platform. Just saying. They could, but they definitely aren't. Now there could be some weird Square Enix situation where they let Hitman go with uh, uh, IO Interactive. That will not happen here. But <laughs> crazy things have happened with that. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure they had to write Square Enix a fat check for that. So mm-hmm. I don't think they just gave it to them for to be nice. I mean, I'm just thinking, you know, Xbox is nice. They didn't know what they're doing. So hey, that won't happen. <laughs> but that'd be amazing. No, I know. Sticking with PlayStation. Mm-hmm. PlayStation and Fireworks Studios announced something today. They're making a new game. Now, this is very much a Jade Raymond situation where they just kind of announced something. We do get a little more now. They actually like have a studio and a logo and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, formed in 2018, this is a part of the probably Monsters family of studios which I couldn't tell if it was meant to be a publisher or just a conglomerate of studios that works together. It was kind of unclear, but they are run by a couple of X Bungie, Call of Duty and Halo devs. Um, and they all run that studio together and they did announce a um, partnership with PlayStation. Of course, PlayStation will be publishing this game um, and they're going to make a original new IP and it will be a triple a multiplayer game. That is how they phrased it. Original IP, triple a multiplayer game. Alex. Mm-hmm. Now this game won't be for five years. Yep. So I'm not speaking to this specifically. But we do know of a couple games that are coming with multiplayer. We know um Ben is reportedly helping uh make some sort of multiplayer IP. Now they're making a new multiplayer IP. I'm sure there's another factions thing being worked on too. Uh, we, we might be getting too much multiplayer stuff soon from Sony. I'm very curious to see if we do. I don't know. Yeah, I wonder if they're if they're gonna hit that road towards like okay, um, it's just gonna be multiplayer, multiplayer, and not, then they're gonna slightly go away from story, and then the people are gonna complain and be like, "Where's our single player stuff?" I I I want to say I doubt that because Spider Man, because God of That's, War, yeah. because Horizon, because Ratchet and Clank, but. I mean, that's the four, right? So so you're telling like me that the, all their first party games are only single player and then all the third party games are multiplayer? I mean, Is they don't really have here? a I mean they can't you know, be a balance. 
Well, I think they're going to try and bounce it out if they're if they're smart, and I think they all are. I don't think there's any dummies working at Sony. Mm-hmm. Um, they will balance out single player, multiplayer, single player, multiplayer. You do have to be very careful with multiplayer games fighting against each other. We know Ghost of Tsushima Two is hiring to make Legends Two, whatever you mm-hmm. want to call that, or they port Legends to Ghost of Tsushima Two. We know they're making Ghost of Tsushima Two. We know they're making Legends Two, whatever you want to call that. So. Mm-hmm. Is that going to continue going down? There's a lot of multiplayer stuff happening, and and yep, when you have multiple multiplayer games at once, you're Hard almost with one. you're almost fighting with yourself. Though is my issue, right? Like like if you're yeah. if you're trying to get the consciousness, this is the this is the problem with EA that I forgot to bring up with Battlefield. If Battlefield has a battle royale, which it for sure will, you're almost fighting with. Apex Legends, which is an EA title. Now, you mm-hmm. can argue that they are not fighting because you either play Apex or Battlefield. Money's going to the same person. But we mm-hmm. know that's not how that works for EA. We saw that, with, mm-hmm. we saw that with Titanfall 2. When it didn't sell well, they killed that really quick. Even to though they fair, did that. To be fair, I feel like we would say the same thing about sports games, though. Wouldn't we? Yeah, but there's not multiple of the same kind of sports game, I feel like, right? So you have football, uh, I guess so. we, have, we have soccer. Yeah. yeah, like like they're one of each, right? That's I true. see what you're saying, though. Like the idea of that, I do vibe with. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are getting like the kind of same thing. And I don't know. I feel like that multiplayer bubble has to pop eventually, right? You got mm-hmm. your Destinies. Oh, yeah. No, it's because I got your call. You got your Warzone people, Fortnite people. Like there's only so many people playing video games. Right? Yeah, because it's kind of hard to like. Let's say like we they a new Call of Duty, but then that same studio makes a Battlefield. So now are those Call of Duty people are do they think they're gonna want those people to move over to Battlefield or like or they're gonna and leave the Call of Duty or they're gonna stay to Call of Duty and then not play Battlefield? So it's or so it's like some it's hard for some people to play both and be consistent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get, I get what you're want. saying. Yeah, yeah, and it's. I mean, me, you and me, I was fine that all the time. Right now, I'm playing Destiny. Mm-hmm. That means I can't play Apex, right? Yep. So, I mean, there is kind of like a give and take with these things, right? With events and yep. there's constant things happening in all these games. So, I mean, there is only so much time. Yep. Only so much time. Date update for you. Alex, this should um, sadden you, but they at least mentioned it. Tale, Tales of Arise will now be released in September. Mm. But they did kind of give you a silver lining in this. This delay does mean that there will be a next-gen version of the game when it comes out. I'm glad. I was uh, excited for this game. Yeah, me too, actually. I've never played a Tales game before. Never. This will I be my to. first one, and this <laughs> looks awesome. This is awesome. Are you a huge Tales fan, Alex? I actually don't know this. So I'm not... Too much about I, you. I'm... I like... Tales games. I'm not. I can't. I don't know if I can call myself a fan mm-hmm. because I don't play them enough. Okay, but I do enjoy them. Like Tales of Basuria, I love that game. Uh, like I like the mo- I. I've yet to be able to go back to it. I now want to go back to it because I got I play. I kept play. I kept playing it so much, but then I hit a, por- a part where I have to grind, and I just never got back to it because I just you know I forgot. And um, but like from what I've played. From certain Tales games, I did enjoy. So certain ones that didn't, I didn't like, but then some of them I did like. And I, I I'm, I, I like anime, so you know that type of stuff like that. It, it interests me. So Tales of Rise, when I watched that, I was like, I can get into this one. So I'm excited. So I mean, I don't mind the wait. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, I, I will be excited for when the, this inevitably comes out. Mm-hmm. Alex, mm. at the end of every show, we like to. Sit back, relax, enjoy ourselves going into this weekend that we're finding ourselves mm-hmm. into. Mm-hmm. We like to relax with the achievers, talk about our weekend. What are our plans? What are what are what are some things that we're looking forward to over the weekend? So, Alex, I have a question. Mm. What do you have queued for the weekend? Could be a video game, a mm. TV show, a movie, comic so, book, book, anything. I recently finished my rewatch for with the Marvel movies. Oh, how was that? I, good. It was fun. I missed him. Um, and it's crazy because I've only watched Infinity War once and Endgame once. Well, you told me you've watched most of the movies that you had watched one time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You'd say yeah. that. Yeah. 
Yeah, most of them, most of all those Marvel movies, I've only ever watched once. Mm-hmm. Other than like, I think uh, Thor Ragnarok or what the first Captain America, like certain ones, you know. Mm-hmm. But I, like, I now I'm hitting Falcon Winter Soldier, and I was, so I was like, it's fun. It's a good show, right? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Nice. It sucks that it's only six episodes, but I mean, they're hour long. Yeah, Same. I just wish there was at least eight. You know, I feel you. Same like, I know time ten probably is too much, right? but like I wish eight. I get you. I get yeah. you. I always want more content, but then I complain it's too long. So I, I I'm literally can you can never win with me. <laughs> never, Alex. I don't have too much queued up for the weekend. I, I've continuing my watch of my hero, enjoying every second of it. Yeah. Um, I will continue playing Octopath Traveler. I've tried that on Game Pass. I will continue my playthroughs of Destiny. Um, all, the, all these things, I don't really have something specific in mind that I can think of. Uh, that's exciting. Returnal is soon. Um, yes, yes, it a is. lot of people are giving their impressions. Everyone's doing the thing where, like, I have a game, but I can't talk about it. Uh, mm-hmm. And then you can just do, like, simple math and figure out what game they're playing. Um, so Returnal is one that I'm excited for. Um, we know that Mass Effect is soon. We know mm-hmm. that... That's the next month. Yeah. We know that... Um, Resident Evil Village is soon. Um, your favorite, uh, what do you call, influencers will be getting these games and over these next few weeks be publishing their reviews. We're not that big yet. If you want to help us out with that, algorithms. But yes, please. once we hit that threshold of the video game, we will, of course, buy and give you our previews of each of them as soon as possibly can. We, of course, are not with those bigger publishers and developers. So give us a little extra time, please. For you. Um, I'm broke. All right. <laughs> Alex is broke, so I, I will buy the video game for him so he can play it. Mm. Alex, mm. thank you so much for your time today. This was a great episode. I had fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah, same. And thank you for joining us. Now, I'll reiterate a few things from the beginning of the show. You can, one, if you have a couple extra bucks, head over to patreon.com slash easyachievers. You can give us a dollar there. That gives you a bunch of access to a couple different tiers. You can increase for certain access to things. You can also privately DM us, post on our Patreon wall, all sorts of things to privately get on the show, ask a question. If you have an issue with the tech, if we're not on a podcast service of your choice and you want us there, just let us know. Patreon DM or the mm. free way, if you're a freeloader, we get it. We are too. You can head over to whatever you're listening to right now. Like, comment, subscribe, share with a buddy if you want to. Only that specific person, the guy that seems to always have peanut butter on him, even though you never see him pull it from anywhere, he always has it. It's very strange. Mm. It's fine. Mm. But give us that. Give us give us to him. He will thank you later. Mm-hmm. Probably with peanut butter again. Remember, if you're listening on a podcast service, five-star review, please. Five-star review. Now, if you don't think we're five stars, first off, fuck you. Second off, <laughs> lie. I don't think you, uh, you're not a Yelp reviewer, right? Just five stars. We love you. Thank you so much for listening to us. Check on our video soon. We should have some new things coming up soon. I'm going to talk with uh, Alex. I want to do some more original things. I don't want to dedicate ourselves to only news as much as we have been recently. I want to yep. dedicate some other time to talking maybe about some a couple games, maybe maybe stream. I don't have the proper utilities right now to yep. do that. Yeah, I started a little bit. So yeah, well, I mean, yeah, Alex is doing the brunt of the streaming for right now. Once I have a few more upgrades and I have a couple issues with my internet fix, I'm mm-hmm. I should be able to chime in much more often with you. Yeah, if there's a game you want us to try, I wanted to actually point. I uh, wanted to do this. If you if there's any games you guys want us to try, so give us like you know, it's like oh your suggestions, you know, give it uh, like put it down down there below and we'll we'll, we'll check it out and we'll let you know how what we think of it. Comment. Yep. You sons of bitches. Down we love below. you. Remember, achievers only do one thing when they have okay. extra time on their hands. What is that, Alex? Oh, yeah. Go Good job. That's right. It's going achieving. We're achieving. Go! We're achieving. 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 achieving.